that a lot of people are stuck um, in the waiting process or in the waiting uh, game. And it can be frustrating uh, when people say, be patient, right? Hey, I want to have this happen. I want to do this. I want to do this, but you know, I just can't seem to find the right opportunity. I can't seem to find the right um, mentor. I can't seem to find the right, you know, whatever. And the person on the other end of that conversation always says, "What? Be patient, right?" And one of my favorite quotes that I heard uh, from my mentor's mentor—that's interesting. Mentor's mentor um, was, "When one door closes, another one opens." We've always heard we've always heard that. All of us have heard that. When one door closes, another one opens. But he took it a step further. He said, when one door closes, another one opens, but it's hell in the hallway. I love how he said it's the journey. And we talk about patience. There's this idea of you know, we think we think about that term means to an end. And it's like, what if the means are the end. It's like, what if the entire journey is trying to figure out what you're supposed to be doing in life? What if, um, what if the means to an end was the end? Like, what if, because so many people like in their career, they don't even look at a career like their job. They're like, oh, it's just a means to an end. But like, what if that's the whole purpose of life is like, the means is the end. Like the means is, it's everything. And not looking at it as with such short term vision and like in 2019, I will figure out what I'm supposed to do with my life. <laughs> but figure out that like, what if life is figuring out what you're supposed to do with your life and understanding that if you get it when you're 70 or if you get it when you're 27, that you got it. <laughs> and, that's, and that's what it's all about. And it's having the patience of understanding that it may take one person their entire lifetime to get to it. But that doesn't make them any worse or any better than the person that got it when they were, like you were saying, 22. So many people I know that are in the process of looking for the next opportunity, searching for the next opportunity, figuring out what they really want to do, figuring out what their passion in life is, figuring out what their purpose in life is, figuring out what their gifts and abilities and all that good stuff, what they're supposed to be doing, what they're born to do, but aren't doing anything in the process or are simply coasting through what they're doing in the process. I would say two separate things. So just an up and coming entrepreneur, I would, the biggest piece of advice I would give is to be patient. Um, it, it, patience is a very, very interesting thing because Number one, you pray for patience. God doesn't give you patience. He gives you the ability to be patient, which can be frustrating at times, um, especially if you're not patient. But the interesting thing that I've learned is that the most patient people I know, the things happen the quickest for, which doesn't make sense. It's like, oh, this person's patient. You know, they should be able to like, you know, show it, prove it by, you know, having things take a little longer since they're patient. But it's like the more patient you are, the quicker things start happening. Um, and then the other side of that too is when you're not patient, it leads to bad decision making. Um, leads to potentially, you know, taking opportunities that aren't the best, but you just want something to happen so bad, you, you go after it and end up doing things that are a little bit too risky, doing things that are a little outside your, you know, morals, ethics, doing things that. Um, just start robbing you of your time because of the potential outcome from it. And so being patient is just this understanding that, you know, you've got so much time um, in that if you just show up consistently over a long period of time and put the work in, that success is inevitable. We talk about patience, we talk about, you know, all these things, but like it can happen quickly. Like when you make that decision to, to change and you make that decision and take ownership of your life, like it can happen quickly. It may not be overnight, but in a matter of a few months and in a matter of a few years, your life can be radically different, radically different. And so to me, that's the biggest encouragement to someone that's listening to this, that may be in that struggle or maybe in that feeling of like hopelessness of like, I just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing to know that they could look up a year from now and be in a radically different place. Hustle while you wait. Go hard while you wait. 
put your absolute best in, 100% in to what you're doing currently while you're waiting for what's next, while you're waiting for what's best, while you're waiting for the perfect opportunity to come along, be crushing what you're doing currently.